you to sit down here and phone your mama and tell you're gonna stay here and watch the movies with us. Ron, sit down here. Oh, Ma, they're gonna show those stupid movies again. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Ma. We know it's late, but it's time for another episode of Flawed Family Flicks. <laughs> Watch close, and you may even see some of your family here. Are you serious? Well, where do I come in? Shut up and sit down. Get ready. I will make you understand. Oh, yes. I remember the day of the big storm. It had been rain for several days. <laughs> We'd gone into town to visit with Buster. It just seemed like it couldn't get any worse, and then it did. A huge tornado hit our local town. The wind blew more and more. Whatever you saw, if it wasn't nailed down, it blew away. Even the piers down by the boats began to blow away. This was kind of a problem because the boats were tied to the piers. All the men began to flee for their lives. One of our families, Buster's dad, had a boat down by the pier. And as we watched, the whole town began to collapse. Everyone in town was terrified. Even everyone from the hospital began to flee. Buster, who was in town visiting, was in the hospital at the time. He awoke to find himself exposed. He was somewhat confused and decided to leave. Then he decided to stay. Then he decided to leave again. And then he decided to quit horsing around. Uh, Buster, I don't think I'd hide there. That doesn't look like a very safe place to me, Buster. No, I think I'd get out of there, Buster. See, I told you so. Geez, Buster, you don't look so good. You kind of look like a house dropped on you. No, now you look like a house dropped on you. You best get off the street, Buster. This is dangerous. By this time, Buster decided this wasn't a happy place to be. He just wanted to get out of town. He wasn't having much luck. The wind was blowing him back two steps for every step forward he took. Sometimes it was blowing him back three steps. And then it hit him like a ton of boxes. He had to get out of here. If 
Usually, Buster felt right at home on stage, but not this time. I don't think you should pull on that rope, Buster. I told you so. Poor Buster, he kind of looks like he's having a rough day. If old Buster didn't have bad luck, he'd have no luck at all. Now, who's really the dummy here? You better watch out for that horn. Have you ever just wished you could be invisible? Buster, where'd you go, Buster? There he is. Time to go now, Buster, before the whole building falls on you. Round and round and round he goes. decided this place was starting to get dangerous. He was all for getting out of here. The wind just kept on blowing. Poor Buster. He didn't realize he's standing on the door. Watch out for that electrical wire. You'll get shot! Just like that. In a storm like this, there's no such thing as a truly stable object. But it was nice in the tree to give Buster a ride down to the wharf. Buster's dad had gotten into a little bit of trouble when Buster came into town and was in the local Who's town. Unfortunately, the Who's cow was turned into a houseboat. Meanwhile, back on Dad's boat, Buster was trying to figure out what to do. He decided to start by rescuing the girl. Watch out for that anchor. Buster, I've never seen anybody anchor a house before. What's he gonna do? That Buster, he's a quick thinker. He told her, he said, just hold on, it'll be okay. Unfortunately, she'd become attached to him. And of course, Buster got all choked up about it. And
and then the roof gave way. But of course, Buster persevered. Meanwhile, Dad was having problems of his own with rising water. With one rescue complete, it was time for Buster to move on, and he sprang into action. Sorry, no time to hang around. was one of those moments when Buster's brilliance shone through. More or less. And it's a good thing, too, because Buster's dad was getting kind of wet. And the boat raced to the rescue. Uh, Buster, it, uh, it looks like you're gonna ram the building. That's what he did. And Dad survived it. That was rescue number two. Buster's day was improving. Suddenly, Dad realized that his son had fallen in love with his adversary's daughter, and it didn't matter. Then they heard another scream for help, and Buster sprang into action. It was the other riverboat captain, whose daughter Buster had rescued. He needed help. His ship had sank, and his life was in peril. Without a moment's hesitation, Buster jumped into the water. Jump, Buster! You can do it! And Buster saved the man. Buster's father really wasn't very interested in helping the other man. But Buster explained it was the right thing to do. And almost tore off the man's head doing it. The old riverboat captains realized how foolish they'd been. And then suddenly, Buster jumped back into the water. No one could understand why. And then, they realized why. That Buster, he's a heck of a guy. See you later, Buster.